Hi everyone, it's Aska here. In today's video, I will show you how to prevent your nails from getting chunky at the base with gel. When only the base is raised, it doesn't quite achieve a beautiful look and ends up appearing rather unattractive, don't you think? To avoid this, there are three essential points to consider. Even beginners can achieve beautiful results with these methods, so please make sure to watch until the end. Okay, let's get started! A common issue for gel nail beginners is the tendency for the base to become uneven, resulting in a raised appearance. Everything else may be smooth and beautiful, but the base has a noticeable raised bump. It might not stand out right after application, but as your nails grow, the raised part can become quite noticeable. It not only affects the overall appearance, but if it's raised excessively, it can also snag on hair and make the gel more prone to peeling off too. To avoid it raising at the base, keep these three points in mind and you'll see some improvement. If you get the hang of these three tips, you won't just stop the base from becoming raised, but your nails will look amazing overall. So definitely give them a go and keep them in mind. Now, let's start with the first tip. The first tip to prevent a raised base is to start the application from the middle. When you're getting gel from the bottle and applying it to your nails, do you begin applying right from the bottom of the nail? The initial stroke tends to have a generous amount of gel on the brush. And if you start applying from the base with this excess gel on the brush, a lot of the gel will naturally be left at the base. Even if you try to spread the gel all over the nail later on, if too much builds up, it might end up causing the gel to leak out. To prevent this, I recommend you start the first brush stroke from the middle of the nail. When you start the application from the middle and spread it to the tip, you'll use up roughly half of the gel on the brush. Use the remaining gel to spread it over the base of the nail. This way, there is less gel to spread, reducing the likeliness of the base becoming raised. Let's move on to the second tip. The second tip is to lay the brush flat while applying the gel. The reason the base ends up uneven is mostly because the brush is used to upright when applying the gel. When you're applying gel near the base of the nail, you are probably conscious of keeping it smooth and curved as you go. At the moment, the fundamental technique for application involves using a brush to push the gel into the nail moving away from the base. However, if you hold the brush too upright and push the gel in, the base becomes uneven. Painting with the brush held upright puts too much pressure on it, causing uneven color not only at the base but across the entire nail. To avoid this, lay the brush flat while painting. By moving the brush parallel to the nail, you can prevent the base from becoming uneven. This applies to any layer, the base, color, and top coat. The fundamental technique for brush movement is to paint parallel to the surface, so gently apply the brush without using too much pressure, allowing it to lie flat as you paint. Finally, on to the third tip. 
The last tip to prevent a raised base is being aware of the amount of gel you use. Even if you've had success with the first and second tips, excessive gel can lead to dripping before it cures. This will cause the buildup of gel in specific areas, resulting in unevenness and lumpy appearance. The amount of gel you need to use will depend on the size, length, and width of your nails. Since I can't define a specific amount, if you find the application challenging, I suggest you start with half the amount you usually use. Even if you find that it's not enough, you can add more as you go. Over-applying has many drawbacks, such as overflowing, leaking, or creating uneven surfaces. Since there are far more advantages to using less, try to apply a smaller amount. By doing this alone, you can reduce the likeliness of unevenness. How did you find these three methods for preventing a raised base? In this video, I presented three techniques for those who may struggle with skillful application. But it's important to understand that, ultimately, the method of application doesn't matter as long as you can achieve a pleasing result. I hope you'll use this as a reference if you're having any difficulties in achieving nice results. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. And if you like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.